first day going to class. I'm really, really thinking of moving. I got some food. I think so. No jealous. Oh my god. My dreams are crazy. Yours might be hard to. Yeah, we stick around for it. Here in the city, it might be hard to. But it's big enough for This is what I look like. The owl? Owl? Jump scare. <laughs> oh my god, hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my diary. We're back home from vacation. I hope you guys enjoy the travel vlog. Oh my god. It feels so surreal that I went through that experience. Like I was on a literal island. Like there was one time the bartender was telling us, if you've not watched my vlog yet, the previous video, I was in the Canoean Islands in St. Vincent, which is in the Caribbean. One of the bartenders literally told us that Justin Biber was on the island. The same place we were staying at, Justin Biber was there. Your girl rolls with big, big dogs, okay? Woof, woof. <laughs> I clearly look rough. I know I can see on the viewfinder. I look crazy, but good morning We are back home now on Instagram. I'm not back home I'm still on day two or day three on Instagram and TikTok So your favorite influencers are lying to you half the time the trip is done And they're just posting and uploading because our job is to upload So I want y'all to know when you're watching this video that I lied to you and I'm sorry I am such a Da, 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 da type of girl like I like my things a certain way so once I'm home everything needs to be set like I need to be back to myself back to my routines have food in the fridge like everything needs to be stocked my next trip isn't until two and a half weeks three weeks so I have some time at home so we have to get some stuff together I also think I got sunburned my neck is burning and we need to get our sips together so what we're gonna do is like, first of all I need to fix this nail I'm not I don't want to flick y'all off but yeah, like she broke, so I feel crazy with only just like my middle finger struggling. So we're gonna take our nails off and just let them breathe for the next couple of weeks. I have this video might go out the week of Fashion Week. New York Fashion Week happens twice a year, by the way. This year, duh. Like this spring and in the fall. I'm not a huge fan of Fashion Week. It just feels like there's a lot of politics and it's just a lot of work for very little reward because I'm not a fashion influencer. I feel like I'm a fashion icon, a legend. A moment but not an influencer so I don't think I'm gonna go if I'm going just going for like little events here and there not any shows I feel like I'm gonna focus on going to the September fall fashion show as like I want to see if I can be invited not as a fashion influencer but more as a host or like a creator like just like a interviewer actor even like girl big goals I don't know what I'm talking about big goals over here anyway so that's the goal for Anyways, the point is, fashion week might be happening, so I will just keep my nails for that, but I think I'm just gonna like get them off. Let me just have clean, clear nails for the rest of the couple of weeks before I get my nails done. Um, we need to unpack my suitcases. I usually unpack right when I get back home, but your girl didn't do that. I feel so bad, so I'm gonna unpack like right now, because I just need to unpack. Definitely need to go grocery shopping, just because I do like little things to get my routine back in check, and I need to get a workout session in. So we do have a bunch of things going on. Are you ready? Are you ready, study? If you're ready, say yay -o. I didn't hear you, yay -o. Yeah. giving you all an idea of what I have so far. So these are the outfits that are gonna still be going with me on my next trip and these as well. Y'all remember that I borrowed some clothes? So I gotta return the clothes I borrowed. I'm gonna see if I can extend my borrowation, but we'll see. And then all these just have to go to my room. Those shoes have to go away. This is laundry, but your girl's hungry, so let's go eat. Mind you, I've still not brushed my teeth. I should not be close to the camera because my mouth smells disgusting. It smells like red wine. Oh my God, yes, I drank on the trip. Y'all remember when I said, oh, I'm not drinking this year? <laughs> Didn't work out. I decided that I'm not gonna drink at home, but I'll drink on vacation. That's the goal right now. Or like a dip. You know what? Let's not talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. Coachella, but you are we're not talking then, right? Yeah, we're not talking. Hey, so you don't just I'm going to see me, Coachella. Babe, what does that thing come against you? We are, we should do this.
mask, Sophie. <coughs> Oopsie. My favorite lip mask in the entire world. My lips are a bit dry. I did drink some red wine yesterday and I feel like I should have brushed my teeth before I went to bed, but I didn't, so bad. I got an appointment to get my nails taken off, so I'm gonna do that sometime later this week. I need to shave my head because I have a bunch of hair growing back and then I just need to shower because I have not showered, actually. <laughs> Since I've been back, so I'm a bit dirty, but I feel like I don't want to shower. Also, y'all, I really like my body. I've always loved my body, but right now, I feel like I'm growing into like my grown woman body, naked from the bottom down, so I'm like looking at my body right now in the mirror. But like I'm really proud of her. My boobs have not grown as much as I thought they would grow at my age, but that's fine. Because like, I'm like working hard at her, like, bro, I have a little like, <laughs> I, like, I have no body goals whatsoever. I just wanted to be healthy. I've never been healthy, like I used to be so skinny like thin and everybody would be like oh my god we love your body but i never like I, i've always been all about like body positivity and loving your body as is because you only have one but i always just knew like i wasn't healthy and now i feel like my body looks healthy i feel like i'm eating right mm, okay i take that back okay we're not eating right but we're working out we're on that path to eating right like i'm working out more i'm running running has like helped me a lot bro <sighs> good job so you're such you're doing such a good job taking care of yourself i hope you know that you're such a star you are such a star positive self-talk is so important people think it's vain it's not it's so important like you have to be the person who's constantly sharing yourself on who else is going to do it in a world that doesn't understand you because they don't live in your head so if i'm ever feeling some type of way positive self-talk you are doing great baby you're i'm proud of you i'm proud of the woman that you are you're so pretty you're so beautiful you're so talented oh high five Talk to myself. Yes. Okay, let's shower and get this, like, get our shit together. Let's shower. Let's get, let's, let's do this. Casey Neistat. He did the 800 days of vlogs. I just watched a video that he posted today where he talked about syphilis and the impossible dream. And in that video, this man, he broke his leg in a motorcycle accident 17 years ago. You guys, 17 years ago. Okay. And so he broke his leg 17 years ago and pause. He spent 17 years trying to beat a marathon score, a marathon score of two hours, 59 minutes, 17 years. He failed he ran 25 marathons. Do you know what a marathon is? 26 miles. He ran 25 marathons. He lost the New York City Marathon with an Olympic runner and then still went to run another marathon five weeks later to make sure he did that score. He tried because the doctor said he would never run again. Okay, let me show you this outfit first of all. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I just bought this from a vintage store that's around my apartment and y'all, it looks so pretty. Oh my God, let me show you properly. But I watched that man's video and I looked at myself and I went, how, what have I ever done that was that dedicated? Oh, this dress, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel so beautiful. Back to the story. What have I ever done that was that? Also my nails. But what have I done that has, like, that has been that dedicated? To fully spend 17 years at working every single day 
towards one dream is insane to me. But yeah, that's what that's what separates people who are successful from people who aren't. This is the jacket I got. I'm not gonna wear it with this fix. I feel like it's too much. But I've never wanted something more in my life. Like, look at this. Look at her. Look at her. She's so pretty and so bright. I don't think I have done anything. I feel like the biggest thing was 100 days of vlogs. But when I got exhausted, I just like stopped. I don't know how to explain it. But I'm looking at things around me and the dreams I have for myself. And I recognize how hard it is to be disciplined to chase the things that you want to chase. And it's just been ringing in my head. I'm 26 years old. I want to be an actress. I want to be on the big screens. I want to host my home game show. I want to be in movies. I want to inspire not only other people, but also myself, the young girl who like never thought the life she's currently living would exist. And I wonder what I need to do to get to those dreams, like to achieve those dreams. And the things that constantly ring in my head, I'm like, how can I be a better version of myself every day? Because you only get one life to live. I just, I just, I watched that and I was just like, wow to chase your dreams for 17 years and to fail every single year he ran 25 marathons to fail every single time and still keep going that kind of dedication i want it i really want it this is such a pretty dress i'm literally on a mission to make more friends this year and just like more people in my life so dana who i went on my travel vlog with i apparently lives so close to me so i'm gonna go say hi and go to her apartment i'm gonna take mr kovu with me because so, she has this gorgeous little doggo. I feel like Kofu's gonna be an asshole and not wanna say hi to the dog. We're gonna test out to see if my dog has any semblance and sense. I'm gonna FaceTime her first before I go to her house because what if she's not home? Y'all, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Making friends. You home? Yeah. Yeah, coming. Okay. Wait, what's your address again? Oh, wait. Hi. What? Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hi. Wait, did you see Hi. 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 I feel like I've mentioned it in like a few videos, but I'm really, really thinking of moving. But I'm not sure, and I've been kind of, babe, I want to fuck it. Cause why, where were you in my life when I was struggling? Where I were know. you? I know, I this was a really last minute. I was supposed to live there, in those buildings over there. Yeah. That was like, I was almost gonna sign for it, and then I came Where is here. that? Where, what, what part of? It's called Vantage, I don't know. Oh, my friend lives there. Yeah. It was, it's really nice. It is it's really smaller nice. though. No, but they charge so much. For yeah. Two bedroom, it was babe. Like six. Babe, babe. I know. I don't even know how the fuck you pay seven. Like, I could never. You're smart. I I'm not. <laughs> So y'all should go watch her vlog. I'm gonna link it in the description. She has an apartment vlog. Her apartment is nice. Like I'm contemplating moving to New York or staying in Jersey. This is making me like mm -hmm. just wanna move here. The two bedrooms that are the one floors are cheaper than what you said. I know that for a fact. I don't even mind, like I just wanna be across the street. Like, I wanna be across the room. No, he's fine, I promise. She's like, no. no, I think he's playing with her. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> She's, not she's like ignoring. She's like, boy, if you don't keep quiet, I'm not giving you a chance. She only wants to play on her turn. Yeah, and that's what he doesn't like. See? Go <laughs> <Okay. laughs> She's. Go eat one attention now. Look, okay. he's such a boy too. She's like, fuck out of here. <laughs> that is so. Funny. The dogs are like. He's like, come on, let's go. Yo, he's making himself at home. <laughs> she's so jealous. Are you jealous, mama? Oh, stop the serotonin. No, he didn't growl. Dogs right now. He usually will growl when, like, if Please someone's coming to take the attention. Please.
currently listening to the Trevor Noah's podcast. I've never listened to an episode and I'm listening to his episode with Kevin Hart. And my obsession with Trevor just went from here to like the moon. Eh! Trevor Noah! God damn it. He is... His brain and his ability to be so well spoken. He's able to balance both sides so well, especially the American audience. Oh, I love him. Really need to go grocery shopping. And so it's like eight o'clock and we're wearing the same thing we've been wearing for the past, I'm not joking here, like three to four days. So let's go grocery shopping because our fridge is empty. You ate your food, bubs. You ate your yummy food. You did, little bubs. Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> My favorite um, cereal to buy are honey bunches of oats, vanilla bunches. But when I tell y'all, I used to be obsessed with the Frosted Rice Krispies. Like it was like, what is it? What is that tiger one? It was like Frosted Flakes, but Frosted Rice Krispies. And then they discontinued it. So now I always just get this and I get two of this. If I don't get this, I get cinnamon bunches, but they don't have any cinnamon bunches. Sorry, true story. My favorite time to come to the grocery store is early in the morning because that's when the older people are here. And like, they always have fresh restocks. So I get like prime like products. <laughs> like everybody around me is like really old, cute couples. Why am I yelling that? I have, I have a, oh my God, I'm trying to be sexy. Oh, I have a shit ton of packages to pick up y'all. Like so many packages. Did I flash you right now? I think I just flashed you guys. Well, nipples. We, I've been chilling, I think since I go back from my trip. Your girl was on a brand trip, you've heard that already. What was I saying? Oh my god, you guys, like yesterday, the new moon was in Aquarius, or the moon transitioned into Aquarius. Basically, the moon moved, and it was a new moon. And I just had a epiphany. Like, I just had like a, a moment, and I just feel, I don't know, do I sound crazy? I don't want, don't slap. <laughs> Yo, why did I come on here? Packages, that's where we're going. No, this body is bodying for real. Like, I've been feeling myself a lot. Gay, gay, guy, 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 period. I have a lot of packages and y'all are fighting me. You do. Are you fighting me too? Never that. Things. How are I, know, you? I like this I know, color I on know you. you're just coming back from the island, so you know, I live my best life. You know what I'm saying? No Wait, is it really your counting? <laughs> 12. You got a lot of shit. You need a fart there. <laughs> 12 packages? I didn't get any like yelling emails though. That should be it. I don't remember buying a lot of stuff. I really don't buy a lot of things. <laughs> God, I don't want kids. Want the tip? Yeah. Like liquor. Stay away from dogs. That's what I do, tequila only. Nah, I don't matter. I don't fuck with that. It's been 25 years I don't fuck with tequila. Really? So what do you drink? Rum? I drink rum. I drink vodka. I drink scotch whiskey. Scotch whiskey is good. Not me. But I don't drink like that, like that anymore. As you shouldn't. Alcohol is poison. It is. It's terrible for your body. But. When you gotta, you know what I mean? You just gotta do what you gotta do. You know what Clean the uh -huh. no. oh, Honestly, I don't think it is. I feel like it's okay. You like, you like well. Hey guys, we're gonna open some packages with the A and You know, I've not been drinking coffee or matcha as much. I just started drinking energy drinks. So, I have a ton of stuff here that 
we need to figure out what's it all in here so i'm not sure i feel like some things are pr but also you guys i really really want to get back into fashion and style and stuff like that so i have a friend who's like a great stylist she's technically not a stylist but she loves to style so she bought me a lot of clothes like i literally just gave her money and i said go crazy and she bought me a lot of clothes that we're gonna see how i like it but first we have to unpack a bunch of things i got this just like a phone wrist thing and i finally got one so this is what it looks like it's from case defy like it has like a pearl if y'all can see it let's see so i put it in my phone in the back this is a terrible trash case is this how it's supposed to be i'm not sure what else is this what is this i think this is this valentine's day i think so this is from zahara i feel like this is the i wanted the outfits my friend got for me pants oh you guys oh these are pretty i want to open these fashion over bags because First of all, I'm so mad at her for shopping at Fashion Nova. Like, I don't shop at Fashion Nova. It's not my thing. I don't buy their clothes. I've bought their clothes for so long. But apparently she did. And she didn't have a room on where I wanted her to shop. So she just went crazy. What is this? Jesus. Oh, my God. What did you get? Oh, my God. God. Oh, wait a minute. Are these like clowns? What? sweater what is this oh this is nice oh this is nice oh god this is this is quality is this for fashion nova i have not bought fashion nova stuff in so long this is so soft oh girl ah! oh steve madden has this exact shoe i could just told her so she could have bought bought the same from steve madden this is not bad can y'all see that get your friends that actually know how to shop because this is actually really pretty that is so pretty and you would never know it's fashion over period what is this it's a jacket oh it is oh this is a, i don't think i'm gonna like this one and we're gonna wash it oh 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 this is pretty okay bestie this is a fire exclusive oh oh my god what is this where's the top Okay, I want you to open everything up. Uh, open everything There's up. so much. Open, it's not. I did not open. Also, no fashion over again. I want the fashion over again because I know you're not doing fashion over, but you need it basic. And the quality is so good. It's okay, you need it basic. And these are my good colors. Ah! This is cute. This, this is cute. Oh, this cat's coming. Ah, I see green. I see green. I see. I was not about to say anything, but I just seen any green, and I'm like, girl, you know I love green. So what's going on? You guys, like, I have like shoes. <gasps> ah! Never shop, but like, I realize if I have some, does that mean that I'm destined to be like a celebrity or like famous? Because if you think about it, I don't like shopping, but I like personal style shopping. So like, my friend loves, like, she eats shopping. Like, she. She's always shopping for something. Are you mad? Wait. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh wait, I love this. Oh my God, I love her so much for knowing me so well, you guys. Are these jeans? I have not had fashion over jeans in so long. And I love that she got them white leg, yes baby. And like a lot of my clothes I want to start tailoring. So like they work. Oh, there's a purse in here. What? Oh. <laughs> I promise you, this is not sponsored at all by Fashion Over. Like, in fact, I feel really crazy that like I'm screaming for Fashion Over 
But like, yeah. <laughs> oh, YSL opium for Valentine's. Oh, I love YSL beauty, man. They spoil me. Okay. <gasps> Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte sent me something as well. Steve Madden. Oh, Steve did send me something, didn't he? Hi, sugar daddy Steve. Oh, I really wanted these sandals for my Steve Madden shoot. Oh, and I got it. Thanks, Steve Madden. Hey, bestie. Hey, How are oh, I love that you say that. I told Aura to buy me like clothes, so I gave her money to buy me clothes. Cause I, I, you know, I don't like shopping. She tried. Oh, look at the things she got me. She got me jeans. She got me tops, sweater, plenty. Fenty beauty. Thanks, Fenty. That's cute. You got. Wow. Uh uh. Too much to start to have a business now. That's so cute. So y'all look at this. And then last thing I bought is this thing. I've heard so much about it. Like everybody on the trip had it. These little things you stick to the back of your phone. So like you can stick your phone on different surfaces. It just like comes off when I'm done with it. I'll put it back on when I need to. Hi guys, it's Emily, Sophie's assistant. I'm doing a little takeover right now. She's stuck in a few meetings, but she wanted to send out some care packages for her followers and supporters um, because they're so loyal and so amazing and just genuinely show her so much affection. So we are building some care packages to send out to a few lucky people, around 10 I believe. So we're gonna go get some supplies and get some boxes and get ready to send out some gifts. So you're coming along with me. Okay, we've made it. We are in Staples. Now we just need to find the boxes, and then I need to carry them. Nine of them. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's find out. All right, these are our options. Here I am trying it out. Here's my hoard of boxes. Perfect. Now we just need to find packing labels. have been secured. Hey y'all, first day going to class. I'm literally currently walking in Brooklyn right now and I'm headed to school. <laughs> like what the hell? Like I'm not sure if I want to do this fully. I'm like, you know what? If I don't try, then I never, I'm never gonna know if it's meant for me, you know? Like, I really don't know what to say. I don't know how to feel. This doesn't feel like a game. It feels like my life and I'm like playing chess <laughs> with her a little bit because I'm not sure what I'm doing like, I don't know there's no guide for this but I feel like I have an idea when I close my eyes on sleep I have an idea of like the kind of woman and the kind of life I want for myself and I feel like it starts with doing really really uncomfortable things and just hoping for the best oh my god I'm also in the part of Brooklyn that I've never been to and it's so nice around here I don't know when this vlog is gonna come out, but I'm currently apartment hunting. And this apartment, this area is not bad. They have a nice park. These apartments are gorgeous. I'm not mad at this area, actually. I'm not mad at it. We're going to class. Wish me luck. 